Okay, we've hooked the detector up to a source. It's coming to the preamp. And here's what the signal looks like coming out of the preamp. Wow, we got good pulses coming from the, pre, from the preamp. We have lots of signals. This is set for 100 microseconds. So it takes a couple of hundred microseconds for a pulse from the preamp to decay away. So we're now going to take this and we're going to hook it to the input of our amplifier. If we take the output from the amplifier, we can now look at it with our oscilloscope. Wow, it's bigger, it's faster. In fact, it's so fast, they just are little single ups and down pulses. So let's speed up. Ah, there they are. So this is on a two volt scale. I can change this to a one volt scale. And there we go. That's what the pulses look like coming out of the amplifier. This all looks good to me. So now let's feed that into our multi-channel analyzer and get a pulse height distribution. Okay, here we are. This is where we're going to build our false height distribution. And I can start it. It scans for about a second, and then it will begin to display. Oop, here it comes, and this looks pretty good. So we're going to just let the MCA run for a minute and build in the spectrum. The reason we tortured you with statistics earlier is you know that these are Poisson distributed in each channel. But let me point out here, this is the full energy peak right here. Uh, this is where both the alpha and the lithium-7 deposit all their energy into the gas. This is gamma contamination way down here, and you can tell we don't have very much. This is the 6% of the time that the lithium ends up in the ground state. So we have a second little peak out here. And then these are all wall effects. Where we're using a fairly skinny tube. And so either the alpha or the lithium-7 will often slam into the wall. And thus we'll only deposit part of the energy into the gas. But this spectrum will continue to grow in. And finally, the Poisson distributions will get small. But this is a, not a bad tube to use for neutron detectors. I could set a lower level discriminator here. The gammas would be here. These counts would be neutrons.